These are three of the coolest announcements that I saw at Flight Sim Expo this morning, online of course. So let's start off with Thrustmaster. Wow, what a way to kick off the product reveals. The new Thrustmaster Viper TQS, a one-to-one -one replica of what you get in the real F-16 Viper. It's got the handle rotation, landing gear, officially licensed by the US Air Force, backlighting just like the Warthog, and a very cool flare chaff button. Man, if this thing is built anywhere near as good as the Warthog, this is gonna be fantastic for the flight sim community. It has got a bit of competition though with the one wing version, which is already very good, but I'm glad to see a bit of competition in this space. It's gonna cost $529. I know that sounds expensive, but we really need to wait and see how it's built before passing any real judgment on the throttle. It's also a modular system, so the throttle and the panel can be purchased separately. And I reckon this leaves the door open for future swappable parts. And I cannot wait to get my hands on one of these to test it out. Pre-orders will be on the 23rd of August with availability around October 11. Now onto Flight Simulator 2024. Not quite an announcement, but more of an update and a welcome one at that. They left a lot of questions. Um, just a, a week or two ago about Flight Simulator 2024. So let's do this one in dot points. So number one, a massive performance improvements to help keep the minimum specs quite low. And this was something I was actually quite worried about. So I'm glad they've addressed that. Faster downloads and lighter loads on the hard drive. Number three, they'll have backwards compatible community folder. Number four, new physics and aerodynamics engine. Will it compete with X-Plane? Hopefully. Number five, it seems like third-party developers are gonna get full support and much more control. Number six, ground textures, 3D trees, general detail updates, and this is gonna look insane. Number seven, tornadoes, seasons, storms, <laughs> and the aurora. I mean, you had me at tornadoes. Number eight, more accurate live air traffic and worldwide shipping traffic. Flight Sim 2024 is looking very promising and I can't wait to hear more. Now on to the star of the show. Honeycomb, honeycomb, honeycomb. What have you done? Jesus Christ. I, I can feel my wallet starting to open on its own. The new Delta, the, the new Delta flight panels, I mean, I'm gobsmacked. Now, this is innovation, period. What they say these panels can do is astounding, and I reckon they could be the best thing to happen to flight simulation in years. They mentioned Microsoft Flight Simulator, DCS, and X-Plane. Now, this could be a one-stop shop, glass cockpit, and autopilot panel that will just work in a mass variety of planes. I'm so excited for this. It's all done with two real knobs and a touchscreen display. <laughs> I just, I cannot contain my excitement for these. The price is even more unbelievable. With the 12 inch flight display coming in at 350 USD and the seven inch at 249 USD, Honeycomb are gonna have some of the more established avionics brands firmly in their sights with this and they're about to squeeze the trigger. What was your favourite part of all the announcements? Let me know in the comments.